Hey folks, today we're going to be reviewing Rule of Three by John Allen. Let's get into it. Welcome to Slightly Better Magic Reviews. My name is Paul and today we're going to be reviewing Rule of Three by John Allen. So what's in the tin? You get a specially made deck of cards which have not been written on and I say that because you're going to need to take about a half an hour and write the numbers on the back yourself with a indelible marker and you get a URL and password which includes a video which teaches the stand-up handling and also the zoom handling. So is it a good value and is it overpriced? I would say at $38 it's a good value. It originally cost 50 which I think is too much for this effect for what you're getting. But at $38, which is what it's sitting at at Penguin and Vanishing Inc. right now, I would say it's a good value considering that uh, um, similar gaff decks cost $29 plus shipping and this one's coming with a really good routine. So I think it's a good value at $38. So how long will the gimmick last? I think it all depends on how well you take care of it. Um, this effect, if you're doing the stand-up version, does require you to have the deck in your pocket, in your outer jacket pocket, and if you perform the effect and reset it right away, I don't think it's going to get damaged. But if you leave it bouncing around in your pocket all night um, without resetting it, you could possibly bend the cards up. So. Um, it's really, this depends on how well you take care of the deck. So who is this for? I would say this is for working professionals, um, table hoppers, Zoom performers. I don't think it really lends itself to scenarios of performing it casually. Um, if you're doing a stand-up, it does require a jacket. So I would say this is for the working professional, mainly. So who will like this? I would say anybody that does stand-up shows such as a small parlor or um, table side like table hopping or possibly seated during a Zoom show all those scenarios are perfect for this effect and I think you will get a lot of use out of it if you perform in those venues. So what is the skill level and are there any difficult slights? The skill level I would say is intermediate to advanced um, a beginner might be nervous to try to pull off the move that's required to do this effect. Uh, the move is not difficult, but it does require a little bit of misdirection. And I think a beginner might be nervous to try to pull it off, but an intermediate or advanced worker would be able to pull it off with ease. Where is this meant to be performed? It's meant to be performed table hopping or possibly in a Zoom show seated at a table. It's not really meant for stage, but you could if you had a projector to project what you were doing on the flat table surface so everybody could see it that way. Um, it does require a table and it does require, if you're doing the stand-up version, a jacket pocket with an outside jacket pocket like a sports jacket has. So how is the teaching? The teaching is good. He has two different angles which he switches back and forth manually. The video quality is good, it's well lit, he has a microphone on, and he um, includes a Zoom tutorial which is um, 12 minutes 38 seconds long, it includes a stand-up tutorial which is the main one, and that one is 3127 long. It does include some Zoom performances which are edited together so you don't see full performances but you do get to see the reactions of the people he's performing for which is nice. And I would say overall it's very thorough. So how is the setup and reset? The setup will take you approximately a half an hour to write the numbers big and bold on the individual playing cards and then once you have the initial setup done then the reset will take about a minute after each performance to get the cards back where they need to go. Um, it is something that you want to reset privately, not in front of your spectators. I know some effects you can get away with resetting right in front of your spectators, but this one I would say is, pre is best done in private. So how are the angles and is it examinable? 
The angles on this are really good. You'll notice in the trailer that John is performing this with somebody seated right next to him and somebody standing right next to him. And he's able to do the move with the misdirection without any issue. And you'll also have to um, deal with the unblinking eye of the camera when you're doing it for zoom, but it's only one angle and I think you could pull the move off pretty easily for that as well. As far as being examinable, I would say the cards are openly displayable. They are as they appear they are. You're not hiding anything, but if you let them handle the cards, they might notice something a bit off about them. So I wouldn't let them handle them for too long, or not at all. Um, just let them look at them on the table and take your applause cue and put them away. So what are the pros and cons of this? The pros are you get a well-polished routine, which gets really strong reactions. And I think that the premise of the effect really draws people in and hooks them. The cons are that it does require a private reset and the deck is fragile so you have to make sure you're taking good care of it. So would I use this? I used to use this a lot when I was table hopping and I got great reactions consistently. I used to just reset it when I was walking from table to table. It took me about a minute and it was among my favorites to perform. So what rating do I give this effect? I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I you know, I realize that the deck is fragile and you have to take about a minute to reset it, but the effect is so strong um, that the, the pro is far away the con. Highly recommend this one. If you found this video informative or helpful, I ask that you please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it helps keep me going, and I'll see you next time.